So let's see another useful command called T. T trans stands for transpose. To do a transpose of RY, TRY seems to be a command. I'm not sure whether it will accept this. We call it as RYT. So RYT will have the transpose of YT or RY. Right, it moved the rows into columns and columns into rows. But what is the class of RYT? It's a matrix. That's a change here. To convert RYT back into a data frame, I can just do as dot data dot frame of RYT and I'll put it back into RYT itself. This back as a data frame. Now let's see more ways to access the elements of a data frame. Many times you may not be feeling comfortable to view the entire data frame. You may want to view only the first few lines of a, say, of a data frame. So to do that, there's a command called head ryt head of a data frame it will show the first six entries since ryt has only five rows it's showing the first five if i do a head of ry it will show the first six suppose you want to view the first say 20 lines you could add another another argument along with it and view the next 20 we have a similar command to view the last few rows and the command is you may have guessed it right it's tail and the last 20 lines is you can view it like this tail of rv is going to give you the last six rows suppose if i want to exclude any row that has an na in it we can use na dot omit rv this we have seen in vectors also this works well with vectors too so na dot omit of ry is going to give me the rows that does not have NS. Okay, good. Now let's see how to subset rows. Ry, say I want to see only the first column, sorry, the first row of all the columns. I can do this. Say I want to see all the rows of first column, I do this. If you want to see second and third columns, you can include it like this. It will show you the second and third columns alone. Likewise, it will work well for rows also, it's 2 to 20 rows and all the columns. There is also a dollar notation to see your columns. So I, I want to see the row A or sorry, the column A. I can do it like this. Column B, R by dollar B. It will give me the second column or column B. The same thing I can also do it this way. Or to see multiple columns like this it will be like put all your column names in quotes got that right right now let's see some custom cases say I don't I don't want to have any NS in my first row alone I can do it like this is dot na of y r y dollar a I think this should give me did i forget mentioning the comma yep as you can notice there are no na's in this what did i do there is dot na of r y dollar a is going to give me a logical vector like this so where all true is there it means that everything in location of truths or ns 
the opposite of that is this wherever n i is there i am going to put a false so when i pass this as my rows argument into my data frame it is not going to include any vectors sorry any elements that are n s rather only numbers are included in the first row the same principle should work out for columns as well say i want it for b no element in b has an n a see no element in the second row or second column has n a's in it 